my grandma saying hi. Hot Mess Express here today, folks. It is very bright. I won't wear these for the whole episode. It is so bright outside. Anybody with blue eyes knows how bad it hurts. I feel kind of like a vampire sometimes. In case y'all are wondering, sometimes I am. Yeah. I am partaking in Tartastic Raspberry Lime Ale today. Very drinkable. Hey guys, Chevy Rel here. Uh, hello to all the new subscribers. I have noticed that there are a few new ones. Thanks so much for coming to check me out. I'm not everybody's flavor. I'm just gonna put that out there right now because I say shit and stuff. But I hope you stick around because I like to think that it's kind of fun sometimes. I don't know. You never know what kind of shenanigans I'm gonna be up to. This week is going to be a total hot mess because I am usually very prepared by way of show notes and I just decided to record on a whim today hoping that I can get this edited and posted before the weekend. We are going home to Ohio to spend time with my mom. I thought, you know, maybe while some of you moms out there are pampering yourselves, it would include watching some podcasts and I could get in there. Get, get on up in there. That was weird, sorry. But I am kind of weird, you know. What I'm wearing today really is just my necklace, which I will take off because you can't really see it. This is, and I'm going to botch it, the artist's name is Emily, and I believe it's Bricolage Studios. Bricolage, bricolage, bricolage. I, you know me and my pronunciations. They are not very good at all. <laughs> I'll tag her. But she is a dyer, an artist. She does metal work. She's awesome. I first met her, and actually, I think it's the only place I've ever seen her is YarnCon, and this was actually a purchase a few years ago. Excuse me, I'm real good at the. I could not be a Bob Barker girl, y'all. <laughs> this is, I don't know if it's focusing, because it's so bright, I can't tell. It is wrapped in fiber, and it's like this little coiled metal job. I love it. I get compliments on it all the time. It's my favorite color green. The clasp is pretty cool, too. You can't really see it, I guess. I have no idea how to show this to you. Here, I'll hold it in front of my face. How's that? It's like little coiled. Here, I'll put it next to my big cheek. There we go. And then it goes, you know, you... You get it. You get it. I suck at this. You know me. This, this is probably one of the most unprofessional podcasts you'll ever see. Just so you know. And it's kind of because I like a little chaos in my world. No, that's, that's not true. I don't like chaos. Chaos is bad. I like structured chaos. Is that a thing? I guess I definitely don't like normal. Normal is super boring and I will, I am, I am I'm not normal. FOs, let's get into the FOs, shall we? This is not blocked. It will look better blocked, but this is one of my crochet squares. Last time you saw this, it was this wee bitty little part right there. So, and it's kind of wonky. Look at it's, it's not totally square. It's more like a diamond shape, but it'll block out as a square and it'll be fine. Not even worried about it. For those of you who are new viewers, I am knitting my way through the 200 Crochet Blocks book. That is number 15. I am now on number 16, which is the Water Lily. I have this much done on that Water Lily square. You guys, this is so much fun, and I could not wait to get to that part. The next color I am going to use is this green color. I'm sure that'll be done the next time you see it. I'm thinking this might be a really quick episode and I'll, unless I'm, I'm blathering, which you know I do so well. 
My next FO is my art canvas. I did show this. You saw the first layer where I used the paper that my fiber share box was wrapped in from Kelly. I did finish it, or at least what I'm calling finished. It is mixed media. I did it last weekend. There, there's so much going on here. For you new viewers, the paper I'm talking about is this. If you saw it in one of the last, or if you want to see it in one of the last episodes, you can go back to the, I can't remember if it was the last one or the time before last, one of those, but it was just the canvas with the background. I did the rest of it. There's some texture going on here. I have some hand spun yarn. Uh, this is, there's some glitter and crochet stuff. There's some fiber on there. There's little glass bead things. My moon string art. Selena File uh, is a person who loves the moon. I love the moon. I love the moon phases. I love all of that stuff. I'm a Pisces, so I definitely like um, stars and zodiac and uh, metaphysical type things. My head's always in the clouds. Dan is an Aries. And for those of you who don't know, Aries is very level-headed, right-brained. Um, he kind of keeps me grounded, so I think that's why we work as well as we do. Speaking of Dan, he has some FOs I thought I would show you. These are birdhouse gourds. And for those of you who don't know what those are, at least in Indiana or this neck of the woods, I believe, you can grow these gourds. These are huge. He should have uh, entered them in our county fair because every fair that we went to, nobody could touch these gourds. This is, this is the papa bear right here. But what you do is, of course they're green when you grow them. This is spray paint, but they're green when you grow them. And then you take them off the thing, like pumpkins. You let them dry and then they, there's still kind of stuff in there. You let them dry, you drill a hole in them, you shake all this stuff out. There's seed, ooh, here you get to see a seed. Looky there. Where am I here? They're really funny looking. They were laying all over the barn floor. I went out there after he did it and I was like, what is that? He's like, those are the gourd seeds. I was like, they're really funny shaped. They're weird looking. But anyway, you dump out all the seeds and then he put little hooks in them and you hang them from the trees. So I'm gonna take some home for the moms for Mother's Day and we'll hang one up here and all that happy jazz. We do, I just looked, oh, she's so cute. I am a huge animal lover, like huge animal lover. And some people would be mad about nests by their house, but because I love animals, um, I am not. And I, I, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna be able to. Shit. The reason that I looked up there is we have a robin's nest mama bird. I'll see if I can get a picture of her or maybe some video that I can put in. I feel bad because our front door is right here and she's right there. So every time we go in and out of it, which we don't use it a lot, but we have been doing a lot of yard work lately. One of the reasons why my stuff isn't as done as it could be. So every time we go out there, she flies away and I feel bad. Like, you need to sit on your eggs so that they can cook. Whoops, I dropped my coast coaster from chasing acorns. So I'm worried because she flies away and I know she has to be on the eggs to cook her babies. So I'm always yelling at Dan, like we have to hurry so the Robin can get back on her eggs. And of course, Dan like rolls his eyes at me, like really, you're not gonna live your life because you want the bird to be on her nest? And I'm like, yes, yes I do. Those babies need to live. Mama bird. Oh, she's so sweet. And she's just chilling in our wreath. This is my view when I'm videoing. So when I'm looking out the window, I'm looking at the neighbors, but I love that she's right there because I can keep an eye on her and we'll be able to watch her feed her birds. I'm so excited. 
just a little little part of my crazy right there. Okay, what else we got going on? Now we are into whips. These are my basic vanilla socks. I've said a million times, sorry for all of those who are sick of hearing it. My vanilla recipe is two at a time, toe up, Judy's magic cast on, right? No, yeah, Jenny's super stretchy bind off is what I do, and Judy's magic cast on for the toe. I was here the last time you guys saw it, now, it doesn't look like a lot, but I got the heels done. And my heel of choice is the Fish Lips Kiss Heel. I got quite a bit done, or most of this done, on my trip that I went on. This is Simply Socks Yarn Company Post Stripe in the Snowflake colorway. And I don't remember if I got very much done on, uh, no, no. <laughs> My exceedingly vanilla socks, I got wee little that much. Not really even worth showing. Here's my other one for you new viewers. This is Open Skies Yarn and I love it. But I have so much going on that I wish I had a bunch of different arms and hands so that I could knit on all the things, but I don't. And ugh. I want to be knitting on all these things. I just, there isn't enough time to do it all. So these kind of got put on the back burner. But my socks, like you always have socks on the needles, right, yo? So I have my two at a time. Oh, oh no. Oh, you guys, I lied. I take it back. The majority of this, I, I did the heels on my trip, right? So then, I mean, and that is basically... I, right here. I That's where I started, but then you do the heels on the back, so I did those on the trip. But then when you start in the round, I did all of this when I was watching The Labyrinth in the theater. Thank you so much for everybody who has been tagging me and sending me all the awesome Labyrinth stuff. It's so much fun to see. There is fabric out there that is awesome. There's just there's so much awesome labyrinth stuff and the tattoos that some of you have sent me. I wish I could just like, oh, people are so talented and awesome and I love the labyrinth. I know I'm such a huge dork, but I do. I, I really, really do. Uh, some of you may have seen my Insta story. I busted out the crimper for that shit, yo. And I have blue eyeshadow on. What? Just saying. I had pink blush, I had lippy. I went to the nines. I had on my acid wash jeans, my labyrinth t-shirt. It was fun, it was fun. I like playing dress up, I love Halloween, so. And I love the labyrinth. My next whip is my steering wheel cover. My Chevron steering wheel cover. There's a picture of it right there. What? Super excited about it. Let's see. The last time y'all saw this, I was right there. I had we done. And I have that much done. So I've gotten quite a bit of work on it. I'm like over, I'm just over halfway, I think. There's an end in sight there. I do have a new cast on. Y'all remember this pattern. I bought V Yarn, which is this, which you guys won't remember it, but it's by V Yarn. I bought it at, drawing a blank, Yarn Con, and I forget the colorway name. Shoot. Stand by. I have the ball tag. <clears throat> the ball tag. I meant the Hank tag. It's in a ball. It's not like a ball sack. Ball band. I don't know where all the words in my brain get jumbled up, but they do. <laughs> Boom, I'm back. V Yarns, here is the ball band, and it is Rogue Squadron. Oh gosh. Thank you, son. There we go. Rogue Squadron. Rogue, rogue. Rogue, a rogue. Rogue, good grief. Rogue Squadron 
and it is her Crested Worsted Base, which is 100% Superwash Merino, and it was 220 yards. I have wee cuff started. So of course, because of the light is great, at least, I, I hope it's great, I think it's great. I don't know because I'm blind really and can't see what I look like, but I'm sure everything's going to be washed out because it's so bright. So hopefully you can see it kind of. But I have the wee cuff done. I'll keep you posted on that. And then for my big whip, you guys, I am in love with this pattern so much. It's the only thing I wanna knit on. I. And it's the Flamingo Flavor by Sosu. And it looks like that. The yarn I'm using for this is Malabrigo in the Storm colorway and Bad Amy Knits in her Jungle colorway. It's gonna look wonky from the last time you saw it because it's all bunched up on the, on the needles. Where's my, oh, there it is, okay. So here, that's all you're gonna get to see. But here is somewhere, I know I saw it right here. So I did this much, okay? And then you put these on a, a cable needle or waste yarn, okay? Then, not that this is giving, I mean, you can tell this by looking at the pattern. You knit the first triangle, which is this. Then you pick up, actually it goes, yeah, it goes like this. Then you pick up around and do the outside and you do short rows. So I am on the short row, this part. It is so much fun. I am still just as in love with this as I was the last time. I love it. It's the only thing I wanna knit on. Like I cannot wait to get it off the needles. I don't care that it's gonna be hot as hell when it is off the needles. I am going to, wrap my, I'm gonna like turn the air condition on just so I can sit in my house and wrap myself in this squishy wonderfulness. I'm just, just saying. And then I'm gonna cast on the Love You Baby shawl because I love her patterns. That's all my knitting, you guys. It's gonna be super short episode this week. So if you don't care about anything else, Peace out. This is kind of that uh, time of the year where this is gonna slow way down, I'm thinking. We are campers, like I've said multiple times before. We do a lot outdoors. I haven't really thought that far. I think I did mention when I first started that this would slow way down in the summer because of camping. We do uh, travel quite a bit within you know, driving distance. We'll just kind of see where this takes us. If there aren't episodes for a while, it's because I just don't have any content. We have been rocking on yard work. We just moved into this house. It'll, it'll be two years in August, but we moved in in August. We couldn't really do a whole lot that year. Last summer was our first summer here. Uh, so there's just still a lot of outside work to do. So a lot of our time has been doing that. The weather has finally gotten nice, which is awesome. I am not uh, a worker outer in the winter. I like to hole up, you know, in my shawls and knit. So I typically get a lot of my knitting done in the winter. In the summer, or spring, summer, nice weather, I am outside work, like that's, it's not like I'm outside working out. Like I'm not like a workout nut or anything, but I do like to work out in the outdoors. So last night, like for those of you who follow me on Instagram, I busted out my skates for the first time this season. It's really cool because I used to have to go to a park where there are paved trails and I would have to like drive there to the other side of town. Whereas last end of summer into the fall and even the winter, they finished concreting our entire addition. Our addition is, um, it was established or built or, it was established. Doesn't that sound fancy? They built this addition, which is a very small addition out in the country. We're like 70 houses like 
plunked out in the middle of a cornfield. It's very strange. So I kind of get the best of both worlds. You know, I have neighborly people and I get to smell cow manure when I walk out the door. So I feel right at home in the country. This addition was built in 1979. So the roads were concrete and terrible and they redid them all. So it's primo skating. So that being said, that has taken up quite a bit of what I used to use as knitting time. Uh, I imagine that the rest of the season will go that way as well. You'll just have to stay tuned. Who knows what I'll come up with? If, like, who even knows? But I will let you know whatever I'm doing knitting wise. Um, oh, I do have enabling. I forgot I have enabling. Now, this might not be for everyone and it's not yarn enabling, but I did get a new tarot deck. Uh, this is the Wildwood Tarot. It is authored by Mark Ryan and John Matthews, and the artwork is by Will Worthington. I am just learning. I am very, very new to this gig. So I am working on learning this deck. I am very new to the world of tarot or tarot, depending on who you ask. There is a base deck like the the deck when when uh somebody who isn't into tarot cards thinks of a tarot deck you're oftentimes thinking of what is a writer weight deck which is the author of of that deck the writer weight decks are read in a certain way this is not a writer weight deck it has a different story which i won't get into because you're not here for that but i'm learning this story a book came with it and i have also been um using some of my time for this i'm very excited about it the artwork is even if you're not into tarot the artwork on these cards is absolutely gorgeous and right up my alley so you know the only thing that's constants change new season bringing on some new stuff of course you know i will always be knitting i will always be crafting i will always be doing stuff like that and i will keep you posted i hope that you guys are all having a wonderful fantastic and awesome world and you're enjoying the weather uh like i said here in indiana it has finally gotten nice Hope you guys have a wonderful world until the next time I see you. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers. And that includes not only spawned homo sapien offspring, but fur babies as well. Or or scaly ones or or what else is there? There's fur and scales. Arachnids. I don't know. There might be a tarantula mom out there. Go out and be a ray of motherfucking sunshine y'all don't forget to like thumbs up subscribe all that happy horse shit catch ya next time